Thank you. When I apply the gel polish, I apply a uh, thin, thin layers. You don't need thick layers, very thin layers, so it can dry and last longer. Okay. And then, when you go around the cuticle area, I usually use my light, light work brush and get as close as I can. Mm. What's that? Hello. Hey. Can I help you? Hi, cut get her. Not bad your foot. Okay, that's how I get the cuticle. All right. Now, go to the next one. This is the refill from the last set I did on her is the powder color. So I refill with the clear powder. And then now I cover with gel polish. sure it's nice and even then one more pinky but this one I'm gonna put the uh, loose glitter fixie dust glitter I said you this one? Or this one? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. <laughs> Only on one nail because the other nail I'm gonna put the uh, right stone on. Make sure you fully cover with the glitter. Okay. And now you can cure it. Cure for 30 seconds and then do the white color. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. Yes, that's a cuticle. I, I'm not really um, 
good on polishing. So this is the way that I do for the cuticle to keep the cuticles dry. Uh, the nail look for me. Yes, uh, this set, uh, this set don't have to be super smooth because the design on the top is will be covered. Mary, Tari, hi. Lee Holy, hi. Thank you. Okay, can I see the hand? Now, does this. Okay, this is one of the reasons that you don't have to make it super, super smooth. Actually, I don't think it's bumpy. This because uh, I refill with different colors. Hi, John. For second layer, you just need to make it smooth. You don't have to go around a cuticle anymore. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, take a break. I feel like going live because this, this design is the one we had in the class, but uh, it's it's not everyone uh, everyone can achieve the rose petal. So today I want to show you again. So make sure you practice on customer. Okay, and also if people, if you already good in the application powder, sometimes they don't want to get powder all the time. They want gel polish. And this is another uh, another way. And that's some of the trick that you can achieve the smooth surface with the gel polish. This is my trick to go around a cuticle. If you have a good technique, steady hand, you can go as close as you can. But if you have shaky hand, I suggest you go a little bit lower. And then you use a detail brush or light work brush and go closer to the cuticle. One more. And for the white, you should need um, solid pigment.
gel polish, lightweight gels. So you just need to apply one layer only. Because I'm going to draw on top, so I don't need to do two layers. Just one layer only. Hello, Chi Fu. Uh, yes, the white sometimes turn. It depends on what kind of top coat do you use. If you use shiny top coat, I suggest you use the white gel top coat because it's non stick, yellow free. So, this, if you use shiny, I suggest you use this. And for the matte, of course, it has a rubber stickier layer on top even though you clean you put matte everything but still have um, a stain layer on top so if you do matte on white i recommend you to do um, a buffer on top coat you know what i mean you do shiny top coat and then you buff it instead of put matte top coat then that way it's gonna last longer with the white color Now I go ahead and map this layer. When you're prepping uh, the cuticle, that is important too. Try to push the cuticle, the skin, all the way up. Make the cuticle nice and rounded. So when you polish, you follow the edge of the cuticle. Then the cuticle will look more rounded than straight. This a, oh yeah <laughs> I forgot <laughs> okay next one is the dip okay make sure you clean the side to keep the shape maybe 35 or maybe 60 seconds. This is the last um, coat. So you need to completely cure it. Then I'm gonna start um, doing the uh, design. Okay, can I have the hand, please? Okay. Now, I will cover one side. Uh, let's switch to this one. Cover one side. And the other side, I will draw the roses.
<laughs> Excuse me, I'm both handed, so sometimes I use on left, sometimes I use on right. <laughs> I switch it, and I don't know why I did that. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna put the fairy dust on top. Thank you. Make sure you fully cover. Not care. Uh, 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, now this is the roses design. Signatures create the petal. And separate them. Do not put them stick together. Okay. For each of the petal, I, I mean each of flower, you need to need um, five to six petal. Make sure it looks like the rose. This, I will add some uh, green leaf to it so I will have some space between the rows. Okay, instead of pulling, putting machine and cured, I will pull the clear powder to make it matte and has a little bit layers, feel like a 3D flower. Make sure fully cover. until you don't see any shiny area. Okay, here. Here, 30 seconds. Thank you so much. Lahuri uh, Davis. Then, does it off. Okay, now I will, I will do the full one here.
okay the more spreading the bigger the flower is you don't have to be too big either because you need to have room for the leaves Okay, go to the second one. Yes, I use the gel colors, the one that I just polished, the male. Same colors. And then you're gonna pull the clear powder on top. If you ever recreate this, please tag me in to see your work, okay? You might do better than me. Okay, then the next one is the uh, the leaves. I'm gonna add a little bit green, more green here. Because I don't want to use so bright green, I add a little bit black into it. To mix with the green. Okay. Can I see? Let me show you this off. Mượn của thơ đi, để chị mượn chị xài Anh ơi
Okay, before you put in carrot, put the clear powder. Okay, and then I'm just gonna apply the green on the side of the nails, of the pink nails, and right stop. That's it. Hi, I'm Andy. Hi, Vicky. And I have the nails. Now does it stop the green? And then for this nail, I'm gonna put a little bit green on the side. You can do uh, green before you put some makeup coat, and then you can put the makeup coat over the green. But I did the green after the matte coat, so I'm gonna put the clear powder over this to make it matte. Okay, one nail and the top. Okay, then you're gonna put a clear Go over this. Make sure you fully cover when you do the dipping color, I mean, dipping powder. Because you don't want to see some area shiny, some area matte. Okay, fully covered. Now cure it. And then, so the rice on. So many caps. <laughs> I have to put them back in order. Okay. Okay, can I have your hand? I can take this off. Take this off. All right. And again, I'm using Swarovski Rhinestone from Grim Time Creation. I 
actually need one little um, I don't know what the shape called diamond shape and to use the uh, dotting tool pick up my gel I mean my glue when you have the wax pencil sometimes it won't stick because the glue on the tip so you have to crash off the glue before you apply before you pick up the stone okay i'm gonna go parallel with the in the green i'm gonna go this way this glue is quick dry on matte top coat or on top of um, powder color if you put on shiny top coat it takes longer so if you put on shiny top coat you need to uh, put activator right after you finish if not it will run it's smooth Okay, and then again on this side. Okay, super shiny. And then the thumb. Okay, this is our uh, go beside the line. Next to the line. You can see this is the, um, this is one of the few times that I do both nail exactly the same. Because I want to add something different just every time on both hands. Okay, ta-da! The pink gel colors. Okay, actually you can uh, get the similar pink, but this pink, this is the one I use. Okay, almost done. This is activator. I will put this one on this side i put it a little bit crooked <laughs> i didn't see no i see it it's not so straight this is so straight mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Almost done. This is another one more tip. That's what I always do. Okay. If your customer if you have a pretty hand and you don't need to if you're done with customer and you don't need to take picture that's it's fine that's it it go but when you want to take picture because of the side of the nail after you apply the gel polish is lose the shape so i have to file the side gently file the side you use very soft file smooth file to get the side the side will get a little bit loose of the gel polish, but for picture purpose, you need the top part. Okay, okay. See, you refine the shape. Right now, let's go back to the normal. Same thing right here. But you don't do too hard. Let it soft gently. Go back and file the nail again before the cuticle parts. Okay, now the shape. Same thing here. Little bit on both sides and the tips. That's it off, that's it off. One more hand. And then you're taking picture for your customer. Make sure you don't put cuticle oil on the nail. If you don't want the nail with you half shiny, half matte, only on the cuticle area. You can use clean paper and clean again. Look at the cuticle area. When you do with the brush, it's give you nice and clean cuticle area. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let me help both hands. A little bit closer. Thank you.